Today's pick number one is CMTL. Comtech Telecommunications creates and sells innovative products and services for advanced communication solutions. It targets both commercial and government markets globally, offering solutions especially useful when traditional communication infrastructures are not available, inefficient, or too costly. Comtech operates through three main segments, telecommunications transmission, RF microwave amplifiers, and mobile data communications. In the wireless equipment industry, Comtech ranks 208th out of 252, according to Zach's investment research. Comtech is considered oversold for several reasons, reflecting its financial performance and market sentiment. Since the beginning of 2024, its stock price has fallen dramatically. It went from $8.43 at the start of the year to $3.43, marking a 59.3% decrease. This steep drop may indicate the market is undervaluing the stock, suggesting it's oversold. The company's recent financial results reveal challenges. It reported a loss of 15 cents per share in its latest quarterly earnings, which, while better than the anticipated 22 cents loss per share, still indicates struggles. Its revenue was $116,760,000, down 13.7% from the same quarter the previous year. Analysts have varying opinions on Comtech, generally advising to hold the stock. Price targets range from $7.50 to $18.25, with an average target of $12.25. This indicates a considerable potential increase from its current price. The company's financial health, including a negative earnings per share of $0.86 cents for the last fiscal year, and net margins of minus 3.02%, adds complexity to its valuation. Nonetheless, these elements also suggest the stock might be oversold, as its price drop could be an overreaction to these challenges. Furthermore, Comtech has secured strategic investments and contracts that could improve its long-term prospects, including a $48 million contract extension for Next Generation 911 services and a $544 million U.S. Army contract. These developments could mean the stock's current low valuation doesn't fully recognize its future growth opportunities. To sum up, the significant decrease in Comtech Telecommunications Corp's stock price, along with its recent earnings shortfall but potential for future contracts and investments, supports the view that the stock is oversold. Today's pick number two is WRAP Wrap Technologies. This company is part of the security and safety services industry, which is ranked 40th out of 252 industries by Zach's investment research. Wrap Reality, the company's virtual reality training system, offers a fully immersive simulator for public safety training. It helps first responders learn discipline and practice in de-escalation, conflict resolution, and use of force to perform better in the field. Wrap is headquartered in Tempe, Arizona. To understand why Wrap technologies might be considered oversold, we'll look at stock performance, investor sentiment, and unusual options activity. Starting with stock performance and market sentiment, Wrap's stock has been quite volatile. It was recently trading at $2.55 at close, recovering slightly in after hours to $2.63. This volatility, along with a bearish trend in technical analysis, could suggest the stock is oversold. Despite market sentiment, the company's market cap increased by $37 million last week, indicating some positive movement. On to unusual options activity. RAP has seen some noteworthy options trading. Examples include calls for March 2024 at $7 and puts for March 2024 at $3. This range of investor expectations may contribute to the stock's trading volatility, supporting the idea it's oversold. Regarding financial and operational results, RAP Technologies is about to report its financial results for the last quarter of 2023. This upcoming report is crucial as it could offer more insight into the company's financial health and the success of its technologies, like the Bola Wrap. Finally, investor holdings and insider actions are vital. The stock is largely held by retail investors. Their decisions, along with insider trades, greatly affect stock prices and volatility. Recent buying by insiders might show confidence in the company's future, which could argue against the stock being oversold. 
Considering these factors, Wurap's label as potentially oversold could stem from its volatile stock performance, mixed investor sentiment highlighted by unusual options activity, anticipated financial updates and actions by retail investors and insiders. Today's pick number three is MEI. Method Electronics Incorporated stands as a worldwide leader in the creation of electronic components and subsystems. With its designs, the company produces and sells devices that make use of electrical, electronic, wireless, sensing, and optical technologies. You can find Method's components across various key sectors like automotive, appliances, communications, aerospace, rail, and other transport industries, as well as in consumer and industrial equipment. Method Electronics within the electronics connectors industry, which is ranked 91 out of 252 industries by Zacks Investment Research. Lately, Method Electronics Incorporated MEI has hit a rough patch, which has made some market watchers label its stock as oversold. Let's explore a few reasons why this might be the case. Firstly, there's been an earnings miss and net loss. Method Electronics reported a net loss of $11.6 million, or 33 cents per diluted share for the third quarter of fiscal year 2024. This outcome fell significantly short of expectations, missing the consensus estimate by 40 cents. Furthermore, the company's net sales for the quarter were $259.5 million, also below analyst predictions. Then we've seen a decline in stock performance. The stock's price has plummeted by 45.7%, now hovering around $12.35. This is a sharp fall from its 52-week high of $46.58. Another concern is the negative net margins and low return on equity. The company's profitability struggles are evident, with a negative net margin of minus 5.09% and a very low return on equity of 0.07%. Despite these financial hurdles, Method Electronics has decided to continue its dividend payments, declaring a quarterly dividend of 14 cents per share, payable on April 26, 2024. This decision could be seen as an effort to keep shareholders' confidence during difficult times. However, it also sparks debate over the company's resource distribution, given its current financial situation. With these factors in mind, investors and analysts are keeping a keen eye on Method Electronics. Currently, the stock holds a consensus rating of hold among analysts, indicating a cautious stance towards buying more shares or selling existing ones. In summary, the mix of missed earnings, a significant stock price drop and financial challenges suggest Method Electronics is navigating through tough times. While the dividend declaration might offer some relief to shareholders, the underlying financial and operational issues indicate a turbulent period ahead. Investors are encouraged to monitor the company's future earnings reports and management strategies closely. Today's pick number four is SIRI. Located in New York, Sirius XM Holdings Incorporated began in 1990. This radio broadcasting company offers a wide range of content, including commercial free music, top sports and live events, news and comedy, and exclusive talk and entertainment shows. Sirius XM delivers radio services to listeners in the United States and Canada. Sirius XM Holdings operates in the broadcast radio and television industry, positioned 206th out of 252 industries, according to Zach's investment research. Several factors suggest Sirius XM Holdings Incorporated is currently oversold. Let's look at some key points based on recent events and financial analysis, recent earnings and financial performance. Sirius XM announced fourth quarter fiscal year 2023 results that met analysts' expectations, with revenue remaining steady year-over-year year at $2.29 billion. Nonetheless, its full-year sales forecast for fiscal year 2024 fell short of expectations, raising concerns about future growth. The company's financial performance in 2023 witnessed a slight dip in revenue from the previous year, but saw a modest rise in earnings. This mixed financial performance may lead to questions regarding its growth potential, analysts' views, and stock valuation. The average rating for SIRI stock from analysts is currently sell. The 12-month stock price forecast is $4.69, indicating a potential rise of 21.19% from its recent price. This shows that although some analysts see potential growth, the general outlook remains cautious. 
the reduced recommendation by analysts combined with the expected stock price increase suggests a mixed perspective on the stock, highlighting potential concerns about the company's short-term performance, prospects and challenges. Pros are Sirius XM is part of the expanding audio entertainment sector, providing a variety of content that could attract more subscribers. Institutional investments in the company show confidence from major investors. The focus on subscription-based services offers a consistent revenue source. Con styles, the radio broadcasting sector faces tough competition from digital platforms and streaming services, which could affect Sirius XM's market share. Market volatility and economic uncertainties may influence stock performance, adding investment risk. Considering these points, Sirius XM's status as oversold could be due to missed sales guidance, cautious analyst sentiment, and industry-wide challenges. However, its role in the audio entertainment industry and support from institutional investors may present a recovery opportunity. Today's pick number five is GDXD. GDXD is a 3x inverse leveraged ETF related to gold mining companies. For those new to the term, GDXD is an exchange traded fund that moves in the opposite direction of gold mining stocks. This means when gold miners lose value, GDXD gains and vice versa. Understanding this relationship is crucial when discussing gold's current market situation. Let's dive into why the gold market might be experiencing heightened interest and how this suggests that GDXD, a bearish gold miners ETF, could actually be oversold. Here's a simpler breakdown. Weak US dollar and gold. Imagine you're in a marketplace where you can buy gold with different kinds of money, not just dollars. When the US dollar isn't as strong, your foreign money can buy more gold. This makes gold more attractive to people with other currencies, driving up its demand and price. This is important because higher gold prices usually mean gold mining companies are worth more. But if this is just because the dollar is weak, it might not last. Economic uncertainties. Think of gold as a safe haven, like a sturdy house in a storm where people hide their wealth during economic bad weather. When people are worried about the economy, they rush to gold, pushing its price up. But sometimes this push is more about fear than reality. When gold's price goes up because of these reasons, it might seem like gold mining companies should be doing really well, and sometimes their stock prices go up too much, too fast. This is where GDXD comes in. Since GDXD gains when gold mining stocks drop, it could be undervalued if people are overly optimistic about gold. In other words, if the rush to gold and gold stocks isn't based on strong foundations, GDXD stands to benefit when things correct. Given GDXD's nature to benefit from downturns in gold mining stocks, its current market position might not fully reflect its potential. Investors expecting a correction in the inflated valuation of gold mining stocks see GDXD as poised for gains, suggesting it may be oversold. In essence, global economic trends and uncertainties have a big impact on gold prices. When gold prices rise rapidly without solid reasons, like actual demand, it signals that gold and related stocks might be getting too much hype. GDXD, designed to profit from these corrections, may therefore be overlooked and undervalued, making it a potentially smart pick for those anticipating market adjustments.